human impacts on Ontario ecosystems. All right, so why are ecosystems important? Well, the existence of humans on Earth depend on ecosystems. Ecosystems are useful because of their many services such as food, fuel, water, and natural resources. We also use ecosystems for farming, housing, recreation, Logging, logging, and a whole lot of other uses. Ecosystems are resourceful because they keep the nutrient cycle going and they decompose the waste. Animals in the ecosystems help keep the environment beautiful by pollinating crops and dispersing seeds of all sorts. An example of this are butterflies, as you can see in the picture. Freshwater ecosystem. Recreational cottages take advantage of the lake ecosystem. Some of the stresses on lake ecosystems are motorboats, sewage docks, um, boat breaks, beaches, and clearing shorelines. This greatly affects the freshwater ecosystem and the organisms living there. For example, fish populations decrease due to the pollution. Organisms will usually move to a less disturbed habitat. Stresses on lakes and their effects. Motorboats. Oil leaks can easily contaminate lake water and reduce the water's oxygen level. It affects the health of fish and other lake organisms. Sewage. Sewage leaking from septic tanks can increase the nitrogen content of the water. This contamination eventually reduces the biodiversity of aquatic organisms. Docks. Building docks can disturb fish spawning grounds and disturbs floating and submerged aquatic vegetation. Boat wakes. Waves disturb aquatic and terrestrial vegetation along the shoreline and nesting sites of loons and other birds. Beaches. Removal of aquatic and ter terrestrial vegetation along the shoreline means loss of habitat for other organisms. Clearing shoreline. When shoreline vegetation is cut down, fish lose the shade and covering up the vegetation provides. Suburban terrestrial ecosystems. An example of a suburban terrestrial ecosystem is the Niagara Scutman. It is a long cliff boundary between two flat regions with different elevations. The Niagara Scarpin runs through the Golden Horseshoe, which happens to be the most populated part of southern Ontario. The Niagara Escarpment is 700 The Niagara Escarpment is 725 kilometers resulted in parts of Niagara Escarpment to be victimized by urban, urban sprawl. The urban sprawl is known as an unplanned, disorganized growth of urban suburban development in the surrounding countryside areas. There is a very small amount of unurbanized land on the Niagara Escarpment, all separated into even smaller sections. This will eventually lead to loss in biodiversity. This means the less, the, the more the Niagara Escarpment is divided up, the less organisms are living in each ecosystem. The Ontario government realized this was threatening the Niagara Escarpment and that it was time to put an end to it being taken advantage of. So the Niagara Escarpment Plan was created. 
The Niagara Escarpment Plan is a protection program against urbanizing the remaining natural parts of the Niagara Escarpment. It states how it can be, it can and cannot be used. Forest ecosystems. Boreal forests cover most of Ontario. A boreal forest is a biome that has trees such as spruce and fir that have cones and needles. Logging. Logging companies often use clear cutting to remove trees. Clear cutting removes all the trees in an area at one time, regardless of size. Um, clear cutting also divides also breaks large areas of forest into smaller fragments. Wolves require a large amount of area to hunt their prey. If parts of the habitat are clear cut, it would make it more difficult for them to find food because there would be less prey. A large number of animal deaths are caused by wolf kills, habitat destruction, altered waterfall, and soil degradation. These are caused by the increased amount of fragmentation. Rules have been established to prevent the overuse of trees. Some of these rules are to replant trees in areas that have been clear cut and leaving forests around bodies of water. If these rules haven't been established, then the biodiversity of the forest ecosystems will go down. The end.